Hi, I'm Tegan. Uh, I am going to show you my process for how I do my alcohol ink paintings and applying them to wood panels. This will be a full go through and then shortly after that I'm going to be putting out different parts to the different process as a sore video. So when I'm mounting it I will do a whole video of just how I mount my panels and that will be it. Hope you like it, this is my first time doing this and let's see how it goes. A lot of the time, because it's such a solid neutral coloring, I like to give it a little more of a wispy look. So how I normally do that is I just take my alcohol, which I use 91% isopropyl. I find the spot I want to do it in. So for example, I'm do it here and I pour a little bit out near the edge. And as it starts to seep in, that means it's grabbing color. So I start going out back in to grab more. And you'll see it's starting to grab. And with the air, it gives a little more of a light look when it's dry compared to the heat gun, which kind of blasts it and dries it. And I, I personally like this better for that entirely, which is why it's a lot of what speed looks in general.
I'm going to go spray my piece now with the Kmart. Um, I will not be recording that section just because it is in a dark garage and there is no point in you seeing nothing. Okay, so when you're ready to start paneling, you grab your medium matte gel and take it out and you start applying it. Next step to applying it is taking your piece, positioning it how you want, making sure there's nothing on it, give you a bump. Take your roller and you start putting pressure down to move the gel around and get a nice and even application. If you have sunlight in your area, it is good to use that so you can see if there's any bumps or anywhere that hasn't been pushed down. Now when you are squeezing on the panel, you will get gel coming out from the bottom, so then you flip it over, and you scrape the excess gel. Once you're ready, it was all cleaned up. You can take whatever you can use as a weight. I use my station, place it on, and leave it for at least two hours. After the allotted time, you take your weight off, you lift this up, turn it over, check it out. Looks good. And now we're on to trimming. On a cutting surface, you take your piece, you put it upside down, and then you trim along your edges. So that they are nice and flush with your Depending how sharp your blade is, you might have to do it a few times, a few passes, so you don't feel like you have to do it in one pass. Next step will be to take a level, put it on your piece, and check it the two main directions to see how level it is. And you want it to be pretty well bang on, because otherwise it might not um, adhere as nice as you'd like it to. It will tip, which will cause the resin to kind of have a slope to it, and nobody wants that, especially you as an artist, because then you have to do it again. It's just time that you don't need to spend doing that. All right, now I'm going to pour up the amount I need and we will get started. When you have the right amount poured, you want to stir it while scraping the edges and the bottom just so 
everything gets mixed together and you want to stir it for at least three minutes. And you have about a 45 minute uh, window for working. So once you're ready, gotta get moving. next step after you've gotten your bubbles out is to let it sit for about an hour. That gives it time for any bubbles that are kind of hiding to come up to the surface along with um, any hairs that might have somehow fallen in to, to show themselves by using your light, which is why I'm looking at it at weird angles, just to kind of catch the light. So now what we do is we cover it and we'll check back in an hour. All right, so it's been about an hour. So now we're gonna take a quick look under and take a look at the sides, which was a good thing, because I see some bubbles. I think you can see it here. So that'll be it for now, and we will check on it in 24 hours and see where it's at. Right. It's been 24 hours, let's check on it. It looks pretty good. If I really want to, I can sand the edges a little bit where there's a tiny amount of seep in. I'm not gonna do that on camera because this will take me two seconds to sand. Otherwise, let it cure for a full 72 hours and it's done. Sign it, sell it, do what you gotta do. I'm happy, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This is my first time, if I missed anything, please let me know. See you next time.